स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माई चैनल एन मोर मैस बे वर्क मर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर प्रोग्रेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट ईच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जामेशन वन मार्क क्वेश्चन टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फोर मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप एटलीस्ट यू गेट टेन टू ट्वेल्व मार्क्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर समटाइम्स ही आस टू फोर मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर सो वेरी ईजी एंड इंपॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट सो वॉट वी लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर progressions in this progressions we have two types of progression student number one is arithmetic progression arithmetic progression and we have second one is geometric progression arithmetic progression and number two is geometric progression geometric progression so we have these two progression in our syllabus student it is denoted by gp and arithmetic is progression is denoted by ap so by its first letters arithmetic progression it is denoted by capital ap geometric progression it is denoted by capital gp so first we have to learn about arithmetic progression so what is arithmetic progression so before that uh, student uh, i am writing some list of numbers here see 2 5 8 11 11 and so on so next uh, one more list of numbers uh, 3 7 11 15 and so on so one more student uh, 20 10 0 10 and so on so next student uh, one more 5 5 5 5 and so on so next one 6 minus 6 6 minus 6 and so on so student uh, i have written some lists of numbers here so you have to observe is there any relation between each between successive terms or successive numbers in the given series so first i am taking the first series first list of numbers what it is student 2 5 8 11 so you have to observe so the list the numbers involved in the series are called the terms here so the numbers involved in the series are called terms so you observe first term this is known as the first one first number just up. so it is 2 so it is 5 8 11 11 so is there any relation between the successive number student 2 after 5 so if you add 3 to the 5 if you add 3 to the 2 you can get 5 in the same way if you add 3 to the 5 you can get 8 again if you add 3 to the 8 you are getting 3 so by adding 3 to the success by adding 3 to the preceding term we are getting the next term so next uh, taking the second list of numbers uh, so 3 7 11 15 15 student again you have to observe is there any relation between the two successive numbers uh, first to take 3 if you add 4 to the 3 you are getting 7 Again, if you are seven, four to the seven, you are getting eleven. Again, if you add four to the eleven, you are getting fifteen. So here, by adding four to the preceding number, we are getting the next number. So is there any relation between twenty, ten, zero, minus ten? Is there student? Here it is twenty. So next number is ten. so by adding minus 10 or subtracting 10 or by adding minus 10 we are getting 10 again minus 10 we are getting 0 again minus 10 we are getting minus 10 so in the same way 5 5 5 so there is nothing added so just simply zero is added to the preceding term to get the next term so here what is to 6 minus 6 6 minus 6 and so on so is there any relation between the terms so, so see here here it is 6 minus 6 is there 
Like again 6 is there, again minus 6 is there. So here we are not getting by adding or subtracting. So if you add 1, here you can get 7. If you subtract 1, here you can get 5. But here 6 minus 6. Except this, all this, in all the lists of numbers uh, from 1 to 4, a fixed number is added to get the next number except the first number. So these list of numbers are called arithmetic progressions. So how can we define C student definition? So definition of arithmetic progression. So an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a, by adding or subtracting whatever it by adding a fixed number to the preceding number except the first number so or we can say these are the terms so the numbers involved in the list are called the terms so how can we define c student arithmetic progression is a list of numbers it is a list of numbers like this all these are lists of numbers arithmetic progression is a list of number Arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term or each number is obtained by adding a fixed number to its preceding number except the first number. So see student this is the definition. How can we define? So arithmetic progression. So how can we define C student? Arithmetic progression is a list of numbers arithmetic progression is a, a list of numbers a list of numbers it is a list of numbers yes like this in which in which each number in which each number is obtained each number is obtained each number is obtained by adding a fixed number by adding a fixed number by adding a fixed number to its preceding number to its preceding number to its preceding number except the first number except the first number except the first number so this is the define how like this we can define the arithmetic progression see, see student to what it is a definition arithmetic progression is a list of numbers yes all these are list of numbers in which each number is obtained by adding a fixed number to its preceding number except the first number. So these are the arithmetic progressions uh, since uh, all these are lists of numbers in which each number obtained by adding a fixed number to its preceding number except the first number. So all these are the examples of arithmetic progression. So this is example 1. This is example 2, example 3 and example 4. But this is not an arithmetic progression. So student, the fixed number which is added to the preceding term is called the common difference. So the numbers in the list are called the terms here. The numbers in the list are called the terms. So see student, the numbers involved in the the numbers involved the numbers involved in the list are called terms in the list are called terms so what are these are called so these are the numbers involved in the list these are called terms student this is the first term second term third term fourth term and so on so the numbers involved in the list are called the terms and the fixed number which is adding to the preceding term. So this fixed number is called the common difference. So the fixed number is called the common difference. So the fixed number is called the fixed number is called 
the fixed number is called common difference the fixed number is called common difference what it is student common difference so it is denoted by small d the fixed number is called common difference it is denoted by small d it is denoted by small d so here in an arithmetic progression so it is denoted by ap simply it is denoted by ap in an arithmetic progression so in an arithmetic progression so if the first term is a1 and the second term is denoted by a2 third term is denoted by a3 and so on the nth term is denoted by an so in an ap first term is a1 first term is a1 comma second term is a2 second term is a2 comma third term is a3 third term is a3 comma dash dash nth term is a n nth term is a n then therefore the ap is the ap is a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma dash dash a n so this is ap student so if the first term is a1 second term is a2 third term is a3 and so on dash dash the nth term is a n so this is a ap so the general form of an ap is denoted by so the general form of an ap the general form an ap the general form of an ap so the general form of an ap ap means arithmetic progression is a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d and so on so this is the general form of an arithmetic progression student so now we have to learn how can we write the terms in the arithmetic progression that we have to learn this is the general form of an arithmetic progression student now here a is the first term and d is the common difference so a is the first term student a is what a is the first term a is first term and d is what student d is the common difference d is the common difference d is the common difference of ap so a is the first term d is the common difference so here first term a second term a plus d third term a plus 2d fourth term a plus 3d so first term a is known as the first term and the d is known as the common difference so c student now we have to write the terms in the ap so first term it is denoted by a1 so now i am writing clearly first term first term it is denoted by a1 which is itself a student and second term second term is denoted by a2 how can we get a2 student by adding difference common difference to the first term a2 can be written as a plus d just you have to observe student in the same way third term third term is denoted by a3 how can we get student by adding d to the second term again by adding d to the second term so here already a plus d is there a plus d plus d that is a plus 2d this is the third term in the same way fourth term fourth term it is denoted by a4 student how can we get by adding d to the third term a4 we can write a3 plus d a3 plus d that is a3 is a plus 2d plus d that is a plus 3d so fourth term is a plus 
3D. So in the same way, I want to write the tenth term, student. How can I write tenth term? Tenth term a ten is equal to by observing all this. If a one, it is a only. If a two, it is a plus d only. A three, a plus two d. For a four, a plus three d. For a ten, it is a plus nine d. A plus nine d. I want to write twentieth term, student. Twentieth term. So it is denoted by a twenty. So how can we write student twentieth term? It is a plus nineteen d. A plus nineteen d. So in the same way, I want to write nth term. Nth term. So can you say student how can we write? Nth term is denoted by a n. So see student if it is twenty a plus nineteen d one less than twenty. If it is a ten. A plus 9D again one less than 10. If it is A4, A plus 3D. So in the same way, we can write A plus one less than n. That is n minus one into D. This is A n. So this is known as the general form of an nth term. This is known as nth term or the general term. So this is the general term of an AP. General term of an AP. General term of an AP. So the general term of an AP, a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Sometimes it is also known as the last term student. You have to remember it is also known as the last term. It is denoted by small l. So the general term of an AP, a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d, and the last term. L is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So in both the ways we can call it is student uh, either general term or the last term. So this is the introduction of arithmetic progression, student. So in an arithmetic progression, so we have there are two types of arithmetic progressions, finite and infinite. Suppose see student, uh, if there is a list of numbers, what I have written in the first. Two, five, eight, eleven, dash, dash. So, C student, it is a list of numbers. We have to check whether it is an AP or not. So, by finding the common difference in every successive terms, we can get the common difference. We can say whether it is in AP or not. So, here the difference is three in every two successive terms. So, so therefore, it is in AP. But there is no last term here. There is no last term. So this AP is called infinite AP. Infinite AP. Infinite AP. This is called infinite AP. Suppose if there is no dash dash, if there are, so this is infinite AP. So I am writing to so student one more. 2, 5, 8, 11. That's all. So this is finite AP. There is a last term in the given AP. This is finite. This is infinite. Suppose if there is dash dash dash. Suppose, suppose there is 54 here. So here there is a last term. It is also finite student. So that is the difference between infinite AP and finite AP. So next we have to learn the common difference. How can we find the common difference? So here common difference D is equal to difference between any two successive successive terms that is a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 common difference d can be found like this e d equal to a2 minus a1 which is equal to a3 minus a2 that is a4 minus a3 that is equal to dash dash so like this we can find the common difference so this is the introduction of arithmetic progression student now we have to solve some problems related to the introduction of arithmetic progression. Mm -hmm.